Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Murali Tumarukudi. I work for the United Nations Environment Program and I coordinate the uh, disaster risk reduction portfolio for UNAP. And this morning we had a session on ecosystem for disaster risk reduction. After the Indian, Indian Ocean tsunami, there was a lot of uh, scientific research as well as anecdotal evidence that communities which are behind robust ecosystems such as mangroves and coral reefs were better protected than communities which were exposed. And in those areas where ecosystems were damaged by the community, uh, by industrial activity or for livelihood activities, it was then considered um, if they had not damaged, the, the dam uh, their chances of survival would have been higher. And this almost became a romantic type of trip that the solution to tsunami is mangroves, something like that. And four years later, we have much better realization that it is not to be romanticized, but also uh, it's not entirely fiction. So there are ecosystems which can protect you from disasters, but there are also thresholds uh, to what ecosystem can do uh, against the forces of nature. So in today's session, we had three separate presentations which dealt with this issue. One was about a tool which we have developed uh, in UNEP about assessing the risk and vulnerability to communities. And this um, tool was pilot phased in Jamaica. Then we had a separate session from IUCN on um, uh, integ integrated water source management. And finally, we had um, a session on, um, a again, on water source management in Kyrgyzstan. And in between these three sessions, we had clear uh, evidence. How do you assess a situation? And how do you make into policy? And how do you do a pilot phase for ecosystem-based disaster risk reduction? Following which, uh, the session, we had some very good intervention from the, the ground. Um, Sam from Sri Lanka, for example, you know, again, he made the point that you know, it is not that ecosystem is the only solution to uh, disaster risk reduction. And there are intervention from Swedish Agency for International Development who also said that ecosystems take time. And you know, then we discussed this all point as to livelihood uh, disaster aggravation linkages and why ecosystems should be invested regardless because it, disaster risk reduction is just one of the services of uh, ecosystems. So it is a no regret option to invest in ecosystems because it would provide many other benefits regardless of disaster risk reduction. So in this um, way we concluded that yes, disaster ecosystem play a major role and it has a lot of opportunity to be developed in future. And in this context, I also want to introduce uh, uh, our partnership of 10 organizations, UNAB, WWF, IUCN, PROACT Network, Global Fire Monitoring Center, ISDR, Stockholm Environmental Institute, and United Nations University. Um, and the partnership is called Partnership for Environment and Disaster Risk Reduction. And um, we have a website called pedrr.net. And uh, we are trying to promote this whole idea that ecosystem service, um, services, uh, disaster risk reduction is one of the robust services of ecosystem and management of ecosystem and investing in it add good value for disaster risk reduction. And uh, we would be having a further session in September in Bonn at the United Nations University to um, elucidate this further. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome.